Global temperatures hit their highest levels in recorded history this week, according to a top climate monitor. But as Tony Waterman reports, in one of the hottest places in America, laws are making matters worse for some grappling with the punishing heat. We're going up to 37 today and, I mean, it's really hot. It is, absolutely. And as you mentioned, we're not even at the peak of the heat of the day. Matt Gonzalez has worked in construction for 25 years and knows firsthand just how hot it can get in the middle of a job site in the middle of summer. What is your hottest day that you remember? Uh, it was about 106, 107 degrees. You know, we're working with steel, iron, uh, aluminum, glass, uh, all of these things uh, retain or reflect heat. If you're pouring concrete on those elevated surfaces, uh, it can easily reach 117, 130 degrees. That's 54 degrees Celsius. Add to it gear like helmets, tool belts, and long sleeve shirts, and it can make for a deadly combination. But for decades, there's been no statewide regulation on rest breaks to keep workers safe. So the liberal cities of Austin and Dallas took matters into their own hands, passing local ordinances requiring 10 minute rest breaks every four hours so workers can drink water and get out of the sun. But last year, Texas Republicans centralized power, passing a law that allows local ordinances to be preempted if they are stricter than those passed at the state level. And since there are no state statutes on rest breaks, the ones Austin and Dallas had in place are now null and void. What's really unfortunate about the whole thing is we live in already the most dangerous state for construction workers. We have more deaths on the job. We have more injuries on the job. According to the U.S. Department of Labor Statistics, at least 42 workers across all sectors in Texas died from heat exposure between 2011 and 2021 the most of any state. And labor groups say the numbers are likely much higher because some injuries or death are classified as something else. You get dizzy because you get hot, you fall off a ladder, that's a fall hazard, that's a fall accident. And they're really sh uh, pushing it under the rug and making sure that folks don't know how serious that problem out there really is. Labor groups have worked for years trying to improve worker safety, but with only four and a half percent of the Texas workforce unionized, their power has been limited. Supporters of the new law say rest breaks were never the target, that the bill is meant to mitigate what they call the harms of a patchwork of regulation. In a statement to Channel News Asia, the National Federation of Independent Business said, this clarification will help small business owners better comply with the regulations, rather than being burdened by the complexity of multiple layers of guidelines. Other supporters say the fallout has been overstated because employers will continue to provide breaks for their workers, even if they're not required to, and to meet the standards of the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, known as OSHA. Let me tell you, if you had a roofer in the middle of the Texas summer, working for 10, uh, for four hours and only getting a 10 minute break, OSHA, I guarantee you, would come down incredibly hard on them because that is not a safe environment. The cities of Houston, San Antonio and El Paso have sued over the new law and a lower court declared it unconstitutional last summer. But it was immediately appealed by the state and remains in effect as the case works its way through the courts. But Texas isn't the only state to pass such laws. Florida's Republican Governor Ron DeSantis recently signed a law banning local governments from requiring heat and water breaks for outdoor workers, impacting roughly two million people. In both states, the majority of those workers are Hispanic or undocumented. We simply see that, you know, workers are like treated like tools that are disposable and it has to do directly with their immigration status. The fate of those workers may now rest at the federal level. Earlier this month, the Biden administration put forward a first of its kind proposal, which would require all employers to offer rest breaks, access to shade and water, and monitoring for signs of heat illness. The public will weigh in on the proposal and industry pushback is expected. Still, many see it as a step towards uniform regulation and protecting tens of millions of workers from excessive heat, which is forecast to grow more intense by the year. Tony Waterman, CNA, Austin, Texas.